Today, we're tackling an age-old mystery, how to make water. I know you're probably thinking, haven't we had that figured out for like, ever? Well, yes, but not exactly. Today, we'll be making dechlorinated and distilled water for plant and mycological use. First up, dechlorinated water. Why? Because tap water contains chlorine. While chlorine is great for keeping our tap water safe for us, it's terrible for plants and mushrooms. Chlorine's antifungal properties can stunt growth, which is the last thing we want for our Amanita muscarium project, or any plants really. Having chlorine-free water ensures that there's no antifungal residue that interferes with their symbiotic relationship with the plant. Healthy plants, happy fungi, it's a win-win. Let's go dechlorinate some water. To make our dechlorinated water, we simply just have to boil it for about 15 to 20 minutes. This process aerates out the chlorine, leaving you with clean, plant and fungi friendly water. You can also let the water sit out for 24 to 48 hours and let the chlorine evaporate naturally or use dechlorinating drops if you're in a rush. But boiling is quick and easy and hey, it doubles as a warm up for making tea. If you want to be extra sure you can test your water with pH strips or chlorine testers, I don't have any of these on hand, but it's an option if you want absolute certainty. The water has now been boiled for about the last 20 minutes and it is good to let cool to room temperature and transfer that to a container. Now let's move on and create distilled water. This is a must for liquid cultures, agar prep, and for misting your mushrooms. Tap water contains minerals and impurities that can mess with your mushroom projects. Distilled water is pure and perfect for mycological use. Let's go set up an easy at-home distillation method that you could replicate yourself to create some distilled water. Now let's create our simple distiller. We'll start with a pot and a trivet. We can now place a heat safe bowl on top of the trivet and fill it with about four cups of water. We have to be careful with how much we fill this pot because we don't want the water to boil over into our bowl. We'll be using a lid flipped upside down. This one I just have the handle removed with a screw and placing that on top of the pot like this. We can turn the heat on high, let everything boil. The condensated water will form along this lid and fall through the convex glass, through our screw, and drip into our bowl. This will take a decent while, but I'm going to monitor the water as it boils through. A lot of it will escape via steam, refill it as needed, and empty that middle bowl as needed as well. This setup is super easy to replicate at home, so you can make your own distilled water, one day I'll get a proper distiller, but for now, this works perfectly. Now that the distiller has run for a while, we can take our distilled water and move that into our jug. And there you have it, fungi fanatics. Whether you're watering your plants or preparing for mushroom cultivation, mastering the art of making water is surprisingly crucial. Chlorine-free water for healthy plants and pure distilled water for contamination-free mycology. It's the foundation of all things fungi. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more mycology tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.